people morning afternoon evening whatever it is wherever you are whatever time it is you're watching this yeah we got a lovely sunny day in good old wales anyway quick service on the van today we're going to be doing diesel filter oil filter changing the oil and then the air filter i'm still waiting on the air filter to come back so i'll try and add that into this film if it comes back in time if not we'll do it as a, a two-parter because i do want to do the gearbox oil as well and i want to me do a short shift linkage on you how to adapt into a short shift gear change anyway diesel filter oil filter oil this morning i'll flip it around show you what we got so we got these are just the generic codes from the each manufacturer so i don't know if these will be right from like VW but anyway we got our oil filter I got a 1.9 turbo diesel on here quite a beast then we got if I get the cords for you that's the diesel filter get out the box there she is and then obviously we got the oil now this two different uh, thoughts train of thoughts on the oil i've gone with 1040 because it's an older van and it's done pretty high mileage 200,000 um they go they recommend between 530 to 1030 1040 so as it's an older van and it is in wales <laughs> We don't have always have the weather we're having now so i'm gonna go with a, a 1040 that's my choice if you want to go with something else with a 530 then please be my best my guest but anyway i'll take it around and show you what we've done so far i've well i've had a cuppa i've had the run the van running for the last 10 minutes quarter an hour just to build the temperature up so that the fan kicks in so the oil then is circulated and it's nice and thin. While that's been happening, I've jacked it up and I've put an axle stand under the chassis. I'm keeping the jack there as well. You can block the rear wheels or one of the front wheels if you want. Basically, all we got down here is, if I can try and hold this on, do it without getting covered in oil. As you drain plug there, I give it a little clean. There's your oil filter housing. Now, obviously, this is the 1.9 turbo diesel. So make sure that this is the appropriate place for your van. So I'll try and do this one handed now. I've cracked this already. Righty tighty lefty loosey. So I'm going to undo him now, and then we're going to drop the oil out, hopefully, into the oil pan without get in covered and obviously you've got to remember this oil is going to be hot so just be careful there she goes all right so i'm going to clean the sump plug check the ceiling washer and if needs be i'll replace that now it is recommended that you replace it every time that's your choice whether you do that or not i find as long as it's in good repair and it's not crushed too much you can reuse now she's pretty black if you rub it through your fingers you can feel if there's any debris or crap in there this feels quite quite good quite smooth no lumps or bumps or it is black but obviously that's the carbon build up in the engine but yeah it doesn't feel like there's major lumps or anything in there which is a good sign now according to the book this should take between five and five and a half liters because it's a turbo model the non-turbos i think they say they take four and a half so i'm just going to leave that drain away now carry on draining out before i remove 
obviously the filter I'm gonna put the plug back in and move the drain pan under because you will have some coming out of the filter as well so I'll go and make another cuppa leave that drain off for another 10 minutes or so and then we we'll come back and pick the video up okay as you can see it's easy peasy really you undoing a nut you catch in the aisle you leave a drain out you'll see how that swapped out easy enough and then you fill in it back up with oil that's all I opened up the bonnet just to give the, the van some air while it was running because obviously you're not actually moving you can see that oil is nice and thin now so that should drain out lovely out of the galleries and everything I've got an 8 litre oil pan this should only be five, five and a half at the most anyway, so plenty of room in there. And I think this was only like three or four quid from a local uh, DIY supplier, we'll say. Yep, I was one waffle, I'll knock him off. Come back in uh, 10 minutes once I've had another cup out and she's drained out. We'll do the oil filter. Okay, so I've got the sump bolt back in. Cleaned it and wiped it all, checked the uh, the ceiling washer, that was all good, so I've reused that. Now there is a specific torque for these, I think it's, read up and check obviously, but I think it's between, I think, I want to say 30 for non-turbo and 50 for turbo versions, but check on that, don't take my word on it because I might be lying, but there is a torque set in, so torque that up. And then we come to the oil filter. Now, these can be either hand tight or they can be an absolute bitch. And what I got is a little tool with a strap that you pull around and then you can pull on that then if I can get. All right, do apologize. Looks like I uh, knocked the phone off with my meaty thumbs. As I was saying, when you're down here, it's a good idea then to give the underside of your van a look over, see if there's anything gone, anything breaking, anything looks like it's gonna break anything worn out anything i've noticed is one of my shocks is starting to uh it's not weeping it's not wet but that's going to need attention in the next six months maybe so i'll put them on my to get list and change out i got an mot in six months really so i'll do them before the mot just not take a risk of it failing on that but yeah it's a uh, Good idea to have a quick look and check everything's okay. So we'll try and get this filter off now without dropping it or getting crap everywhere. May take some turning because they're on a fine thread. There he comes. I know that's going to be full of oil, so I'm going to put the camera down a minute so I can empty them out into the pan because I don't just want to flip it over because I'll drop it I'll try it I'll try it for you here we go hey look at that didn't drop him in case I have some rags when you're doing this too because it's going to get uh, oil over crap so there you are that's the spigot I'm gonna give it all a wipe over give it a clean and then we'll get a new filter in place Go from there. Stay tuned, people. Right, so we got the new filter. I sit very uh, flat. And what I always do is I always fill the new filter, even if it's only halfway, with oil. So you're like pre priming it ready. You don't have to go right to the top. But what you need to do is dip your finger into that oil then, or put some oil on your finger, and wipe it around this rubber gasket. And make sure that that gasket hasn't come off the other filter and is still stuck on the housing. Mm. So once you know that's clear, put some oil around, fill him a little bit, and you're good to go. We can go and put him on. So can I do this? One handed, without getting oil all over my floor. So like I say, I'm not going to fill him all the way. I just want it so that the minute I start him, there's some actual oil in the filter.
so if you can see in there you go yep so i'm going to put some oil now around our seal i'm going to go mental so tip the excess in so as you can see it's not full but there's enough in him that when you start the van you're not starting it with a dry filter so we've got to go back into the van now if i can swap hands with the phone again right and we're going to put the filter i've checked and cleaned up in the housing where you've gone there you are but there's no seal or rubber left from the old one give him a final wipe make sure he's nice and clean and then offer up the new filter you may have a bit of dribbling excess screw him in and then what they say for these is hand tight now they do say if it's a VW, you can't talk them, but it's not a VW filter, so it just says screw him up to hand tight. That's hand tight. I'm not going to go any more than that. So the next thing to do, once you've done that, get your finger out of the way, is up top, oil in. Run him, dip your levels. So we go up top, take a rag with us. There you, here we are. So we take our filler cap off. There we are. Now we'll get our oil, and then I always put, if this is going to take five litres. I'm going to put three and a half to four litres in first, then dip him, then have a look, then dip him, run him for a little bit and try again. So I'll go and get the oil. Right, now you either need a funnel, or if like me, can't be well to go back into the workshop, just get yourself a milk carton, cut him open, and that can act as your temporary funnel. Get your oil. Start pouring them in. Like I say, I'm going to put probably three, three and a half, maybe four litres in, and then I'll start to dip him. Then we've checked that the sun plug is tight. We've checked the oil filter is tight. Most of these uh, oil jacks have got a little window or something on the side if you can see that holding level so that's just under a litre so far this is a five litre container like i say the milk jug works well because you've got a handle as well rag there to wipe him have a quick look so that's about three there you, there you are that's about three liters at the moment so i'm going to put a little bit more in i'll probably go to four wipe so that's not far off four liters you can see that if I hold him pretty level, where is he? There he is, that's about three and three quarters, so we'll put a splash in, is it? That's enough. I'm gonna wipe. There we are, that's about four liters, so I'm gonna take my filter out of my uh, funnel out a minute, give him a wipe. Room down and then the dipstick for me anyway if I turn you around Dicks, dipstick for me is over on this side again check with your 
van. So if I spin it round, I'll dip him and we'll have a look. Round. Can you balance by there and see? Probably not. I'll have to chuck you back over here and then I'll show you the, uh, the dipstick as I'm going in. So you always take your dipstick out. You always wipe him to get the excess oil off anyway. And then according to the manual, what I'm looking for when I put it back in, there's the camera, focus, is you see the hatch marks by there? That indent would be low, that one would be full. So I'm looking to fill my oil up to that level. There you go. There you are. Up to that level there. So I'll give him a dip. I'll try and do this on as level ground as you can. So as you can see now, already, I'm halfway, try and hold that. I'm just over halfway up to that. So I'll put a little bit more in and then we can dip him again. You can either put a dipstick all the way back in or leave him sticking out. I wiped him as dry, so I'll put more oil in first. Get a jug. So I'm going to put probably half a wash in here now. In. Touch more. And then just keep going until you get it to that mark. Dip him, pull him out and wipe him. And then I'll dip him again because obviously that oil has got to soak down into the sump as well. You just push him down, pull him back out. And that now, I can show you that. That's perfectly on that line. So as you can see, it didn't take all. See him? That's the indent there that I want. And I'm perfect on our line. It didn't take all that five meters because obviously there's still oil left in the system. You can't drain it completely without flushing. Which is no need anyway. So what I'll do now is I'll start the van. Leave him run for five, ten minutes or so. Put your cap back on. Run the van for five, ten minutes. Check underneath you've got no drips, no leaks, shut him off, be careful when you're doing it and dip him again and check your level, again you want that level to sit just on that mark that I showed you, once that's done that's your oil change, so the next then we'll jump onto the diesel filter change. Hopefully diesel filter these are fairly self-explanatory if you look down where your battery yes. is in the engine bay it's gonna be hard to see and to get to and film so but basically that's your diesel filter there it's only dropped in and you've got there's normally an R clip hi right, fella on this side and you've got two Phillips head screws on these pipes. So you undo the screws, pull the pipes back and off, take your clip out, and then pull this hosing out. It's fairly explanatory. You've got your two pipes and your big centre one, so you get them lined up the same way as the one you're taking out. And then you can't go wrong, obviously you've got to take that bung out by there. So I'll change him over and we'll have a look and then we can get him started because it's, it's going to be too awkward for me to film down in there I'm afraid. I've undone the screws and we'll have a look. Okay, there's the new filter. So I've just got a, a pin going through. I've got to get a new R clip for that. We haven't had the van before it's fitted. Uh, looks like a nail. But anyway, that's holding the main feed in and then you've got your two other feeds in and it's a case of just dropping that back down into the hole like so gravity then keeps it in place 
So I start him up, give him a check. Again, make sure you've got no leaks. I've done the oil, I've checked that we got no drips, no leaks, that's all dry. I did have to put the rest of the, the oil in. And what I've done as well is I've emptied the drain pan now into the container that had the new oil in. And again, that'll give you a, you can see I'm roughly up to where the original new oil was. So I've put in what I've taken out. So that's him. Apart from that, there's the old filter. Now obviously this is going to be full of diesel, but you can, when he's on the van, if you open this valve at the bottom, that'll let any mo moisture, water, condensation drain out. But you just as well change them out. So there you are, I'm going to start him up, check for leaks. I'm waiting on the air filter, that's the box for the air filter. Um, and I've got to pick up the oil for the gearbox oil change. So that will probably be in the second video. So we'll call this part one. I hope that helps. That's oil filter, oil change, and diesel filter in part one. Thanks for watching. Please click like, subscribe. It does help the channel. And I'll see you in part two. Bye, people.